What's going on, guys? And welcome to the Spin Wheel Park Phase 2. Now, while well, last time we did this, we added in 50 species to a California park, I do believe. And now we are here at Biosyn Valley, the square map. And we are going to add in 50 more creatures. So we've got 72 left out of the 122 initial species that we had. We're going to add in some paths. And we are going to go ahead and put some amenities down. I'll put one amenity here. Let's get the three amenities done and over with. That's a food. Let's get a drink. Put that next to you. And a shopping. This is when guests start to come in. So I'm going to close the park real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and put a an emergency shelter. Maybe over here. A bathroom. We'll throw the bathroom like next to you and then we'll throw in a hotel let's get this kind of hotel we'll have different types of hotels as the park progresses and whatever all right that should be done all right i think we're good to go on that so let's start with the creatures all right first creature to enter the park is Starting off with a pterosaur, huh? Dimorphodon. Alright, so right off the bat, we need an aviary. Should we just make a small aviary just for the Dimorphodons? And then maybe we'll add in Jehelopterus? Just a small aviary. Something small, so then the Dimorphodons can fly around, do whatever. Because only small pterosaurs are going in here. Alright, that should be good. And now let's add in some rocks. Maybe we'll add Jehelopterus in later on. Alright, so let's get Alpine. Only makes sense. So now we already have T-Rex in the first phase, so anything from the first phase will not be returning for the second. There we go. Alright, we got that. And I think it's good to go. All we need now is the hatchery. And then we'll be good to go. Let's get an aviary hatchery. Terrain constraints. It's always terrain constraints. Why do we have such limited terrain options in this game? For Jurassic World Evolution 3, they need to improve on that. They really do. Alright, what was I about to do? Oh yeah, get a viewing dome as well. Or do we need a viewing dome? You know what? We'll, we'll get one. We'll get one anyway. If we can fit it anywhere. There we go. Alright, that's good enough. So let's review or release our first dinosaur. Or pterosaur, even. Looks like we got some of the Dominion Dimorphodons. Oh, only one of them is the default Dimorphodon. The rest of them are Dominion ones. That's interesting. Alright, so Dimorphodon. Once we release our first dinosaur, then we'll add them in. Alright, then we'll open the park. Dimorphodon. Look how tiny these ones are compared to the big one. You know what? That's a good name for it. We'll name you... You can be... The big one. You know, because you're the biggest one of them all. So we got the big one. Alright, let's go ahead and open the park. There we go. I announce the park open. Or declare the park open. Alright, we got the fish feeder. We should be good to go. All right, let's move on to creature number two. Creature number two is Gigantoraptor, okay. All right, so for Gigantoraptor, of course we're gonna throw in like a relatively big enclosure. Not too big. Or should we make that invisible fence? We should put invisible fence in. Replace. Keep it with like the Biosyn tradition. Of invisible fence. Alright, so water. That'll be good. And then we need... Should we get one of those... Um, what's it called? Let's go to Biosyn. Let's get one of these. Should we get one of these research towers? Obstructed. Hmm. I'll tell you what. We could put it like over here maybe. 
We need like a tunnel. That's the only problem with that. Or can we like place a path down? Couldn't we just place a normal path? No. It has to be a tunnel, huh? Alright, well, what would we connect it to? Hyperloop. Desired by... Hmm. I, I never play around with the Biosyn stuff, so I honestly would not know. Fossil Center. Control Center. It would be the Control Center, wouldn't it? I think it would be the Control Center. Alright, where are we going to put this? Huh? Maybe we'll put this in, like, the back somewhere. All right, I think I think I think this is good. We got the control center here. Uh oh, I have replace on, that's why. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll add in like a regular viewing dome as well. So then people can see the gigantoraptors up close. And then we'll put a viewing dome in as well. We'll put one here. And then we'll put one on the other side. There we go. And then what we will do is put the carnivore feeder over here, just in case they want to eat from the feeder. And then we'll get the hatchery going. Let's get a biosyn hatchery. We'll get that. There we go. All right, we should be good. Additional bays, accelerated growth, and then these will be the only hatcheries we have. So Gigantoraptor, we'll throw you like over here. So, the, so, so far we've got Dimorphodon, and we're about to get Gigantoraptor. So we got that. Alright, so Gigantoraptor, we got Strong and Fit, Fit and Small Appetite, Social Fit and Quenched, and Defensive, Skittish, Long Lived and Fit. Alright. You know what, let me just, uh, move this, I guess. We'll move this, like, over here. So it's, like, a little further away from the Gigantoraptors. All right, that'll take a little bit. Let's move on to creature number three. Creature number three, what will it be? Min me, okay. So we have a small herbivore, but first let's release the Gigantoraptor. All four of them. All right, Gigantoraptor has been released. Hold on. What do you guys like for food? Ground leaf? All right. You know what? We can do that. We can make that happen. All right, let's add in Minmi. All right, so what should we do? We'll build like a small herbivore enclosure, like maybe right over here. All right, we'll worry about the, the food later on. Let's get a viewing dome. And we'll get a second one for here. There we go. All right, that should be good. And then we'll move the hatchery, like, over here. There we go. And then we'll fill this up with more small herbivores as time goes on. All right, let's release Minmi. So Minmi should be down here. Yep, there we go. Minmi is being added in. Now, these guys should be relatively quick, I would imagine. We'll release all eight of them. These guys should be relatively quick, and we'll check on the Gigantoraptors for a minute. Looking really cool, I must say. Alright, Minmi, let's go. Alright, so that's creature number three done. Let's move on to creature number four. But before we do that, let's give these guys some food. What do you guys need? Ground nut and ground fruit. Alright, we can do that. Creature number four is... Nigersaurus. Okay. I thought it was going to land on Notosaurus. We'll just throw them in with these guys. That's what we'll do. So Nigersaurus we'll put in here. Alright, let's get all three of them. They'll be here with the Minmi, and we should be all set to go. So these guys will probably take a little bit. Let's move on to creature number five. Creature number five, what will it be? And it is Australovenator. All right, 
our first official carnivore. First, let's release Nigersaurus. Margasaurus last time, so we won't be able to get it this time. And that's all the small sauropods. Done. Alright, so while the Niger soars release, let's move on to the Australovenator. So let's go ahead and switch that over to Biosyn and a Carnivore Feeder. We'll throw that in there. And then we'll add in some vegetation, just so it feels a little more homey for them. Let's go. Alright, we got that. Let's get the viewing dome. Maybe one for, like, over here, and that's it, really? Yep, we'll do that. And then we'll put the, the path over here. Alright, I think we should be good to go when it comes to that. Now let's get this out of here and move this over to here. All right, Australovenator, let's go. You should be all the way at the top, and there you are. All right, we'll get all five of them, and we should be good to go when it comes to that. We'll modify the genome, make sure they're good to go. You know what I should probably do? An updated version of the All Herbivore Park and an updated version of the All Carnivore Park. You know what? That's what we'll do. You know what? Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll have an updated version of an all-carnivore park and the updated version of an all-herbivore park. So for, like, the omnivores, for, like, Gigantoraptor, we'll consider it a carnivore because it leans more towards carnivore. While with Dinochiris, we'll put that in the herbivore enclosure or the herbivore park because that's all herbivores. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. We'll throw in Australovenator and we should be good to go. I think this is creature number... Five, I do believe. Our first carnivore. Let's go. That should boost ratings. Alright, I think that was creature number five. Let's move on to creature number six. Creature number six is... Geosternbergia. Alright, I feel like with these guys, they need a larger um, aviary. I do feel. So let, we'll give them a, a slightly larger aviary. And then they can share their enclosure with other larger pterosaurs that we haven't touched yet. Alright, so let's um, move this out of here. Put this here. And then what we could do is throw in... Um, what's it called? Oh, uh, an aviary viewing dome. There we go. We'll, we'll add five of them in. Make sure they have plenty of food. And then we'll add in some rocks for them to land on. That's another thing. Pterosaurs need to be able to walk. You know, like, I feel like the pterosaurs are very lacking when it comes to this game. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, rocks, alpine. Alright, there we go. That should be good. That should be good. Alright, we got that. Let's, um, put Geosternbergia in. Alright, and we're moving along quite nicely, actually. There we go, Geosternbergia is being thrown in. We'll throw in three of them for now. We'll add in more pterosaurs as time goes on. Alright, that should be good. While we wait for them, let's move on to creature number seven. Creature number seven, what will it be? Our first aquatic. Okay, Kronosaurus. Alright. First, let's release the Geostern Bergia. Welcome to your new home, Geostern Bergia. Alright, our first aquatic will um will make a path going this way. And this could be where our first aquatic lives. Not too big. Just big enough where it can swim around and do whatever it wants. There we go. That should be good. Alright, let's get a, a viewing stand. Two. They only come in two. Good to know. Alright, I think Kronosaurus will take a little bit longer. Alright, while we wait for that, let's move on to creature number eight. Alright, creature number eight. What will it be? Gallimimus? 
All right, for Gallimimus, I feel like we need something a little bit bigger than the herbivore enclosure we have. Yeah, we need something bigger. So for Gallimimus, I'm thinking about throwing them in a gyrosphere enclosure. Yeah, a gyrosphere enclosure. That will work. That will work. All right, let me make the enclosure, and then we'll hatch the Chronosaur. All right, we need to switch that over to Biosyn. There we go. We'll make like a gyrosphere tour. That should be good. We'll throw in a path over here. We'll throw in a patch of water, like in the middle of the track. And then we'll surround this area with a bit of forest. Now, Gallimimus shouldn't be too picky. Let's release the Chronosaurs first. We'll release them. We already got Mosasaurus in the first one, so we won't be getting that. Or Megalodon. So the two big ones, out. Alright, so we got Chronosaurus. Let's move on to Gallimimus. Gallimimus, let's go. So Gallimimus shouldn't be too fussy when it comes to creatures. Alright, Gallimimus will be over here. Yeah, Gallimimus. Alright, so what do these guys prefer? Let me take a look. Alright, let's just hatch those. What does Gallimimus like to eat? Ground leaf? Alright, that's not a problem. We'll just cover, well not the entire area with ground leaf. We'll just cover this area. This whole area will be theirs. All right, let's release the Gallimimus. We got one Jurassic Park one, which is nice. All right, so that's Gallimimus taken care of. Let's move on to creature number nine. All right, only two more creatures left. Creature number nine, what will it be? Concavenator, okay. It just missed um, Carithosaurus. All right, so Concavenator, we'll just throw two of them in. We'll make this enclosure relatively small for them because they don't need a lot of space. You know what's going to happen. All the popular dinosaurs are going to be chosen, and then the only thing left are going to be some of the more obscure dinosaurs. Yeah, because we already got Gallimimus in. Concavenator's pretty popular. It's not, it's not T-Rex popular or Triceratops popular, but I'd say it's up there in, in popularity. Should I do a whole video where I'm ranking all the, um, basically all of the popularities of certain dinosaurs? From like most popular to least popular? I don't know, I think that's very conflicting. I think a lot of people are conflicted when it comes to that, so yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Unless you guys think it's a good idea, let me know in the comments down below. There we go, we'll throw Concavenator in there. These guys shouldn't take too long. Alright, before I do anything, let me go ahead and... Uh, put a carnivore feeder. Shelter coverage low. Yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and... Um, what was I about to do? Damn it, that coverage low. Alright. Right, we'll throw that in, we'll throw that in. And then we'll decorate the environment with vegetation. Yeah, these guys won't take too long. They're relatively small. So we've got some relatively small carnivores, but don't worry. We've got a few big carnivores that haven't been picked yet, like Spinosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Dominus Rex. I'm pretty sure Carcharodonosaurus hasn't been picked yet. The ones that have been picked are Acrocanthosaurus, Tarbosaurus, and T-Rex so far. All right, let's release Concavenator. All right, that's Concavenator taken care of. Let's move on to the final creature of the episode. And the final creature of the episode is... Dryosaurus. Okay, you know what? For Dryosaurus, we'll just throw them in with the small herbivores. Dryosaurus isn't really too fussy. So, we should be able to do this with no problem. Alright, so Dryosaurus will throw you in here. Alright, Dryosaurus. Let's throw that in. And we'll throw in these, all six of them. Let's go. And we'll be able to release them and do whatever we want with them. Alright, let's release our final creature of the episode.
These guys sound like aliens. They're kind of creepy, if you ask me. They even look like aliens with their soulless eyes. Oh my god. I think that's more realistic, but whatever. Alright, so we've built our park so far. It includes Geostern, Bergia, Australovenator, Nigersaurus, Minmi, Dryosaurus, Gallimimus, Concavenator, Chronosaurus, Dimorphodon, and Gigantoraptor. So now, these guys are out of the question for the third phase. And yeah, with that, I think that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.